Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome back to another brand new episode. Today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. If you are new to this channel and if you love designing, then please do subscribe my channel. And also, if you want to get this PST file, color alerts, brushes and everything, then that's available on my Patreon. So there are a lot to cover inside the tutorial. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we're in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here and let's get another image right over here. And let's do some uh, adjustment and let's move this layer all the way to the bottom press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger let's keep it right around here and let's select this layer ctrl t let's move it maybe right around here let's make it a little bigger let's keep it right around here and let's go on very top ctrl t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it just like so and let's click on this layer max and let's reveal uh, some of this part from the bottom uh, select the layer max go to brush and make sure the color is white and let's get those parts back like that and again control T let's make it a little bigger yep and let's drag and drop another image it's this one right around here and let's make it a little bigger control t yep and let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and let's create one more layer go to brush and i'm going for a cloud brush uh let's see yeah let's go for this one and let's make the color a little lighter and let's increase the brush size and let's add a stroke right around here and maybe one right around here and let's add a one more layer in between create a new layer let's add a one more stroke right around here and let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to filter let's go for a camera raw filter and let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows and let's increase the texture let's increase the clarity too yep somewhere around here let's go to detail tab increase the color no noise reduction and color noise reduction let's go to uh, color mixture and from here let's uh, change the hue for of red to somewhere around here let's move the yellow to maybe somewhere around here too let's move the aqua to kind of bluish tint and let's change the blue to kind of drop down the saturation for purple magenta and let's drop down the saturation for red and yellow a little bit yep somewhere around here and let's click on ok and let's apply the same camera raw filter on this image and let's do the same thing for this layer yep i think this is looking pretty good let's create a one more layer go to brush and with the same with the same brush let's make it a little brighter and let's add a stroke right around here and let's change the opacity maybe somewhere around here and let's create a one more layer right click create clipping max go to brush 
and let's go for a general soft brush and let's add a kind of A's glow right around here so let's make it a little smaller yep just like that now let's add an exposure and let's drop down the exposure maybe somewhere around here maybe some more yep just like that let's create fill this exposure with black color let's go back to the brush and using a white color let's get some dark shadows bar right around here before that let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here and let's add some shadows right around here so this is before and this is after so let's keep it like that and let's go on uh, very top add a new lookup and from here click on load and I'm just going with my favorite lot that is the mood dot so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and now let's add some text and let's move it under this layer now let's make a copy ctrl J and let's move it just right above this layer go over here add a stroke and I'm just going for size 2 position to inside and let's keep the rest as it is and let's click on OK and from here let's change the feel to maybe around 3% looks good to me and maybe let's drop down the opacity maybe 60% yep and let's add one more text so make a copy Control J Now let's drag and drop this logo right over here control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep this under this layer and let's add one more text on bottom let's add a uh, one more layer go to brush and I'm going for a painter brush so let's see let's go for yeah let's go for this brush and let's change the color to kind of similar red color and let's make it a little smaller and let's add a stroke and before that let's increase the opacity to 100% let's stretch it just like that and let's move it under this layer let's move it a little up maybe move this under this layer yeah I think this looks pretty good to me and let's merge everything Control shift alt and E let's go to filter let's go to blur and let's go for a motion blur and I think 24 is a little too much let's go for 19 yep and let's click on ok let's create a layer max go to brush and again let's go back to a general soft brush and let's erase uh, some of the blur from here yep Let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here 
yep let's add some right around here and let's erase some of these parts this is before and this is after and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye